Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Although their respective genres lie in entirely separate categories, Shawn Mendes is a known Kanye West fan. The singer-slash-songwriter shared in an interview with Rolling Stone Thursday, May 31st, that his admiration for the rapper, at least as an artist, has yet to fizzle. West whose eighth studio album Ye dropped Friday, June 1st, became the target of immeasurable criticism recently after a bout of questionable tweets and highly controversial political statements. Obviously, there's a lot of things I disagree with what he's saying, Mendez explained. But I don't know enough about any situation politically right now to kind of have a proper opinion. But as an artist, I'm not turned off of Kanye West. I think he is a great artist and he always will be to me and his views and opinions politically and emotionally are his to have. It's not to do with me. The In My Blood singer, who's currently still reveling in last week's release of his third studio album, credits West's creativeness as his most inspiring attribute. Mendez continued, I mean, obviously he said some very messed up stuff that I disagree with, but for the most part, he's still kind of a great artist to me, and it's somebody I admire as a musician. At 19, Mendez is certainly in the younger bunch of today's talent, but he seems to recognize the naivete that comes with being under the legal drinking age in the US a limitation he says he makes up for by drinking a shit ton whenever he returns to his Canadian homeland, where 19 gets the green light. I just don't drink in America, Mendez affirms. I get it all out when I go home. While the former Vine star is experienced enough to name rye and ginger as his drink of choice and he's recently taken a preference to tequila he's more frustrated with the fact that he has to miss out on certain social gatherings in the US, no matter what's in his glass. I'm being denied a social experience, not an alcoholic beverage, he insists. I wish I was allowed to just go in the bar and drink a pop because then I would at least be there with everyone, and I wouldn't have to be in my hotel while everyone else is at the bar. Mendez has lots of celebrating to catch up on next time he's home, he's forecasted to earn his third number one album on the Billboard 200 chart with his new self-titled. If so, it'll follow in the tracks of Mendez's previous two studio full-lengths, Pandwitten and Illuminate, which topped the Billboard 200 in 2015 and 2016, respectively. Cheers to that!